Today's bite-sized bass hack is all about noise floor. Now, as you just heard, <laughs> I have an in-wall air conditioning unit that is right over my head. And it kind of impedes when I do videos in the summer because I can't run that thing and shoot a video at the same time. It sounds terrible. You can't hear anything. I'm shouting. It's bad. But one of the things that you want to look at when you have a home theater is your noise floor. How loud is it when things are completely quiet? Now, one thing I would love to do uh, in this particular room is to be able to get a mini split air conditioner. Uh, of course, a, a ducted air conditioner with the unit as far away from the home theater as possible would be great too, but this is an older house that's not in the cards. But an actual mini split air conditioner is more so in the cards. That's uh, it's, it's a heat pump that it's, you know, all the condenser or the compressor and things like that are located outside and you just have an air handler inside. It's also called a ductless uh, air conditioner. So, and a, a side benefit of those is they're very efficient uh, and they can also be used as heaters. So that's something to, to consider. Uh, also, just a, another friendly tip is if you're going to watch a movie, maybe don't run the dishwasher. Uh, you know, things like that, little things that uh, you, you have noise intrusion into your room and it really, every bit of noise that you have going on, you have to turn up the amplifier even more to hear the same thing. So when we watch a movie during the summer, uh, it's a bit of a struggle because of the noise issue. Uh, and usually in where I normally listen at say, uh, negative 18 to negative 22 uh, on the volume scale, will be up as high as negative 10, which is much louder than I normally listen. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people that listen much louder than that. Uh, I'm not knocking it. It's just, that's my personal levels where I usually listen. Uh, and of course it depends on soundtrack too. Uh, I've had people ask me, well, you know, I go and watch this movie and it's great and I watch that movie and I have to turn it up a lot to be able to hear anything. You know, is my settings? No, it's, it's the way the movie's mixed most of the time. Uh, and I did, of course, the, the Dolby Atmos hack. Uh, that could be another issue where you don't have uh, you're not getting the good formats and things like that. Uh, but really noise floor is something to watch out for. Uh, not only does it make it to where you don't have to turn it up as much, uh, but the dialogue tends to be clearer and things like that. Uh, so just keep an idea of noise floor. You know, it, it's one of those things that I would definitely do different in this room. You know, that AC unit is just, oh, it's, it's terrible. And it's not even one of the loudest eight wall AC units that are out there, uh, but it's still, it's right above our heads. It's noisy, it's just awful <laughs> in a home theater sense. It's terrible. I like to do a lot more of my, uh, you know, really specific listening uh, during the winter because it's not as loud and I can hear a lot better and things like that. Uh, but that's just one of those personal things I deal with. I know it's something that other people deal with. I figure it would it'd fit in the bite size base hack series uh, because it's, it's something that you may not consider, but if someone brings it up to you, you're like, oh yeah, maybe I should try this, try that. Uh, so, and, and if you're deciding where to put a home theater in your house, uh, that is another consideration. There are some people that, you know, Everyone's living condition uh, is different. So uh, some people live in apartments, some people live in homes. Uh, some people live on busy streets. And so if you've got a, a road out front and well, maybe you, if it's an option, you know, you locate the, the home theater toward the back of the house where it's quieter instead of out front where it's all noisy. So things like that, just, just consider the noise level, what you've got going on and what you can do to kind of reduce the, the noise levels and it should translate to better, clearer sound. Uh, you can understand dialogue better. Uh, you can hear your speakers better, everything. So, uh, but that's just this week's Bite Size Bass Hacks. Uh, check out the other Bass Hacks if you haven't done so. I appreciate you following along. I appreciate the subscriptions, the comments, the likes and all that, even the dislikes. It lets me know what you guys like and what you don't. Uh, I appreciate it all. So again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. Uh, it's designed to be short, easily digestible hacks that every little bit should help. And there goes my phone and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.